Damn, so it looks like everybody's trying to clout chase off Jermaine, huh? That man is trying to do nothing but be better. Grow his brand and get his family out the hood. And it seems like nobody's happy for him. But just like I told Jermaine, sometimes you can't take everybody with you, B. Not everybody's meant to go with you to that next level. Sometimes we ask God, you know, we ask our higher power to remove anything and everybody that's, you know, hindering us from growing and, and getting ahead in life, right? And then you start losing friends, you start losing family, and then you don't understand why. But your higher power is saying, you asked me to remove everything that's going to hinder you and it's not good for you, for you to grow. That's what I'm doing. And I know you may not understand it. I know that shit may hurt. But sometimes you got to understand what you don't understand. And know that out of every situation, you're going to get a W. You know what I mean? Out of every situation, there's a lesson learned. And there's a reason why some doors are closing. And there's some reason why some doors are opening. And it's all right. You can love some people from a distance. Sometimes that's how I got to be. You got to love people from a distance because some people is not meant to come with you or even be around you because they're the reasons why you're not being able to get to that next step. Their energy is not matching your energy. They're too toxic. They're too negative. And if you're trying to get to that next level, you can't entertain and bring that energy with you, right? It's okay. And that's one thing I always said, and I always said this, right? Block niggas compared to project niggas, it's different. And I'm going to tell you why. Block niggas all live in different blocks in different apartments and houses and all link up on the block and they all leave the block back home or whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? A lot of them don't really like each other. A lot of them are all clicked up. As you can see, you got Gyro, you got FBG, you got FYB, you got 051, you know what I mean? Like, you got TW. Then what happens? I mean, we all know why Duck stopped fucking with a lot of niggas before he died. A lot of these niggas wasn't right. In a way that they were backdooring each other on some, like, what? They were jumping each other's gates, stealing each other's pipes, fucking each other's bitches. No loyalty. And that's what comes a lot of the time with these blocks. You don't see O Block in the, in, in the ops going through what they, with, with, with the other side, you know, with, with the like FBG side and, and the GD side, whatever you want to call it, right? You don't see them going through that shit like, like that in the internet. You know, like usually in the gang, if you got issues, you keep that shit indoors. But there's no structure no more, right? So dudes do whatever the fuck they want. And nobody's getting, you know, checked on that. Now, when you got niggas from the projects, one thing I can definitely say is you live next door to each other. You live upstairs, downstairs from each other. Y'all come out the same door every day. Same hallways. Y'all sit on the same bench. There's a little bit of more unity and a little bit more structure and love in the projects. You know what I mean? Compared to a block. I lived in blocks. And I lived in projects. And I can definitely say that I felt more together. More like this is us. More like a family and the projects compared to a block. On a block, you got a lot of motherfuckers that come in and out. And come from every other area to come hang in our block. Compared to the projects. And if you're not from there, you don't come there. You know what I mean? This whole Jermaine situation, you know, going back and forth with all his members and all the FYB guys and King Yellow and all that. At the end of the day, they could try to say that they helped them, that they were there from the beginning. But at the end of the day, we watched Jermaine do this shit by himself, come all the way up by himself, being funny, doing skits, grinding, dropping videos by himself. We ain't seen nobody else doing this shit with him. And he was trying to bring up people with him as he was coming up. You can't say he wasn't. 
But at the same time, they can say they, they helped build that. They were around and they helped build what? They were together with them and they were part of the gang. They helped make music and all this, that, and the third. But at the end of the day, they helped do what? Just, just being part of FYB? I mean, think about it. If Jermaine wasn't funny and he didn't have the character and you know and, and, and everything that came along with what he's doing to help them grow, we don't give a fuck about no FYB or anything else that comes with that. You know, he put the work in. He grind. He fucking, you know, took a chance, lost the page, came back. He could have easily, you know, came back after losing his first page and, and not did what he did you know he could easily got 10,000 subscribers and got lazy and left that shit alone got killed in the streets running the streets whatever went back to making music this and you know what i mean like he could have took a whole different route and still been in the trenches so he built this shit you know it was his destiny it was his calling can't say that you built the man and that you helped the man build what you was part of it you was part of being in the dude life or whatnot but you can't say you built something for a nigga that, you know, that put in the work. But at the end of the day, like I told you, man, bro, sometimes this is just an eye opener, you know what I mean? For you to see who's really on your side, right? And it also gives you the green light to know that you don't have to keep trying to be loyal to niggas that's not for you. That you can move on without having to feel like you're not looking out for your peoples because obviously they, they're not your peoples. So thank God for this, right? Because now you can be like, okay, I don't need to go back to the trenches. I don't need niggas. I don't need to, you know, feel like I gotta give these niggas anything. Like I owe anybody anything. Like I gotta be loyal to anybody. I could go on with my life and do me and be all right. You know, they don't want me back over there. Let them niggas keep the headquarters. What the fuck? The headquarters, nigga? Who the fuck wanna go back? For what? You know? That's just how I feel about this whole FYB Jimmy and shit, man. You doing Jamie in a favor, man. He don't got to worry about no niggas, you know. Niggas is grown fucking men. Get your own shit. Niggas got the same 24 hours. Cut that shit out, man. I don't get it. Because when Jermaine first said he was dropping FYB out his name, Monte, FYB Monte was in the comment section saying, I'm proud of him. And then less than two, three hours later, he was dissing him. So what happened in a few hours? What made you think that maybe you going against your man might give you a chance to what, blow up? That's crazy. You willing to fuck up a relationship with your brother or so-called brother over trying to see if you can blow up off of beefing with your brother. Make that shit make sense, man. That's my opinion on the FYP, Jermaine, man. Like I told him, they're doing you a favor, man. I know I'll be coming, though, man. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment. Bullshit, you to the shkitty. Terrific.